All, All right, everybody, we're live. This is Nancy Ray Allen, and today joining me is this amazing lady. If you're not already following her or in her group, Effortless, what is it, Effortless Life? Effortless Flow. Effortless Flow. Go join it. It's fantastic. She's adorable and wonderful in every way, and one of my very dear friends. And I had the opportunity about almost a month ago now, we've been wanting to do this testimonial for a while. So I hope enough of the memory is fresh for her to be able to share. Um, I had the privilege of doing a soul print session with her. And I've been talking about these more and more lately and have had quite a few people partake in their brilliance. And they're so much fun. It's an opportunity for me to really um, dig into your unique design and gifts and also your shadows, what trips you up most frequently, and to be able to share that with you in a way that hopefully instills even more confidence and clarity about what you're doing. So with that, I'm just gonna stop talking and let Indrani share whatever organically comes up for her, but here she is, Miss Indrani. Hello guys, so I'll just say that I'm on my phone, so I only see like this much of myself. <laughs> it's really interesting, and I see like, and then the rest of it I see the top of Nancy so it's really interesting so we're like morphed together love um, but for when Nancy talked about this it sounded so interesting and I didn't know I knew a little bit about it but I didn't know too much so when she um, wanted to she offered to do it with me I was like absolutely and the whole process was amazing just on the the information she gets beforehand so she does her research she does the work before the call and it was so interesting on what came up because a lot of it, I felt like I kind of knew, but she was able to confirm so many of the things. And especially when she talked about, you know, the light side and the shadow side, there were things that I kind of knew. So the confirmation was amazing, but it was just really interesting on, especially the shadow side, because that's where our self-sabotage shows up. That's where the the, the self-doubt and those things that are um, that hold you back right that that shadow your light so digging into that was so powerful for me because for me I'm a quantum manifester which is amazing and it's awesome and it's things that that I do but then also the shadow side of that is you know you manifest anything you don't just manifest the good or the bad you manifest everything so I can really go on a downward spiral, which made so much sense at the different pivotal points in my life where everything was going wrong. So by able to look into that and see what my shadow side was, and, and she gave me tips and resources on the things I could do to make sure that I'm not, I can spiral up out of that was just so amazing. And I mean, this woman here, Nancy, she cares so much and she gives so much value. And the way that she puts it, she makes sure that you, you get, you get it. Cause I've done like readings before and I've done different things and I didn't really understand what was going on. And, and I didn't feel like I could ask the questions and get the clarity that I desired. But with Nancy, she's like, okay, do you get this? Does this feel good? Okay. Can we move on and talk about the next thing? So just her approach on everything was amazing. The information I came through, you know, I'm, I'm spiritual. I've done these, these types of things before. Um, at different levels, but the, the information that came through, I knew, but I didn't know as deep. So her ability to take that and just go deep with it and be able to customize it to you is amazing. And just how excited she was to learn about me and my gifts and how much she was able to celebrate that with me and get excited with me was just such an amazing thing. It just felt so, I felt like I was I found out so much about myself. I felt connected and I felt like there was somebody that was just as excited as I, as I was to find out and to confirm these gifts. Cause a lot of the times we kind of know what's going on and we kind of like have a feeling, okay, I think this is how I am and, and all of these things. So Nancy was able to confirm the F out of it where it was like, okay, here it is. I now know I have that confirmation that this is exactly what it is that I do. And especially on the reverse side, the way that she said it, um, the way that 
that that that you portrayed it and the way that you said it just resonated with me so much. And I think that you got emotional with me as well on the call. And it was just so amazing on how connected you are with your people. So I know that with your clients, you're the same exact way, which is such a refreshing thing, especially in this coaching world and what's going on at the amount that you care is just phenomenal. Yes. One thing I wanted to add that's so cool because I loved your session. So in Andrani's work and you guys, seriously, I'll be sure to tag her. I didn't tag her in the description, but I'll put her in the comments. So go follow her. Um, you'll see a lot of her, her message is around flow and creating an effortless life. And it takes effort to be effortless. And um, when I initially met Indrani, like for the first time in real life, I was so drawn to her because she really embodies this. Like she dresses in a way that's effortless. She seeks flow. She seeks I don't know if the word shortcuts, but she seeks like just this, this flow. Like there's no really other way to put it. And as I began looking at her profile, her core gift in her life purpose sphere is that, that she has the ability to actually see the easiest way to do something and to be able to like, like, and it, you know, like get it going, get it flowing. And she does this when she goes, I'm sure you can do this in any setting, group dynamics, one-on-one -on -one in your life, in your business, in your personal relationships, in your, like, it's super fun. And it was amazing to watch and see because I've been around her energy and I've seen her online and I've seen all this stuff, but then to see it perfectly refre reflected in her profile, it was massive confirmation for her because sometimes in the coaching world, especially we can get really in our head of like, what's our niche? <laughs> what do I do? Like, Oh crap. And then to be able to show her exactly. And then to be able to even give her more language for it, like to be able to describe it. And she was like, she kept saying, Holy shit, that's exactly what I do. That's exactly how I feel. That's exactly what it is. And it's, it's meant to be a, a powerful opportunity of affirmation. Yes. And, 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 and I want to jump in really quick. And this is what we always do. We always get excited. We like jump on each other. Um, I'm not going to go there, but um, the, the way, like it, it's confirmation for the people that, that know, but there's so many people that don't know. There's so many people that have no idea. So this is just, it's amazing. It's really magical because I'll be honest, I've done readings from people where I'm like, okay, well, that was interesting, but I kind of knew all of that, right? And you kind of know. So for the people that already have a good idea of it, just how deep Nancy went with it and how she was able to capture that. And so many times I'm a multifaceted entrepreneur. I love so many different things. And if you're a coach, you can help on so many different modalities. So back to what Nancy was saying was when actual flow came up in my soul blueprint, I was like, what to the what? I'm like, that's the name of my group. That's like what I practice. And it was so confirming, especially if you're a multi-passionate entrepreneur, you have so many things going on and you're not sure because you're, you're good at a lot of things. It was so amazing to be like, oh my gosh, like I'm on the path of least resistance of flow for me, which will light up the, the world in my unique way. And that was so amazing because just like Nancy was saying, like, what is your niche? What is this? Like, who are your people? And for me, it was something that I battled with her for a long time because people would ask me, how do you get clients? I'm like, just because of me, <laughs> just because of what I do. And so for her to confirm that was just so freeing that I don't have to worry about those things anymore. And I can just be me and just being me is, is all I need to do. Yes, absolutely. I love it. I love it. And I kind of want to bring this up, but I kind of don't. So I'm going to anyways, but <laughs> Uh, so it was really interesting because later that day, and I haven't, this is, none of this is public yet. So we'll kind of just talk about it vaguely later that day. You found out something pretty intense that was going on in my personal life, a major decision I had made. And you immediately boxered me and you were like, do you remember what you said? No. Tell you me were like, you were like, holy fuck. How in the world did you show up and do that session? So I'd love for you to touch on that a little bit because I, 
that's that's one of my superpowers that I haven't really acknowledged that a lot of people are pointing out to me lately that I think is part of what I can provide for my clients. Well, the the space that you hold and regardless of whatever's going on in your life, you're about your people, right? Whether your people are like your friendships and your sisters or your clients or anyone the way that you show up, regardless of like how your life is going, has just blown me away. So, you know, what you shared with me later on that day, I was like, oh my gosh, like the amount of joy and the amount of, um, it's so admirable, the amount of, not compassion, but how you love to celebrate others and how you can bask in their joy and there's no competition and there's none of that going on. You're just so excited to do this for people. And so I had no idea the way that you showed up was like, life is amazing. Everything is wonderful. And, and, um, you had so much joy doing that. And that takes a really powerful person to be able to separate like you did. You totally separate the conversation and Nancy and I are good friends and um kind of like sisters and so like i totally would have thought that she would have had this conversation with me beforehand we would have talked about it for a minute but she was so professional she's like let's let, let's jump in she was so excited and just the, the the high vibe she was oozing for me while she was in this turmoil situation of her life was just breathtaking And the same thing, like I had something online where like somebody, um, it felt like a little bit of, of, of bullying or what something that was going on. And I called Nancy and I was like, what is going on? Cause we're sisters. And the way that she just showed up for me, like, she's like, hold on, I got to drop everything. Like she needs me. Like, I am sure that your clients are blown away by the work that you do because the space that you hold and how you're able to just separate and focus in on what the person in front of you needs is just, I, I, I'm so lucky to have you in my life. Oh, wow, babe. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, part of why I wanted you to share that is because, I mean, it's something we all have things we're kind of natural at. So Indrani is like a natural, natural manifester and not to say that it's like always easy for her, but she's been gifted with an ability to understand how it works and to find the easiest flow and way to do it. And because of that, part of her gifting with her clients is that exact thing. You come into her space, you start to understand alignment, you start to understand um, intuition, feeling in your body space. And like, that's part of what you just, it's like a gift you give just with your presence, right? It's that beingness of yourself. And what part of why I wanted you to share that is because what I want people to realize is these things are possible for you you can operate in a space of energy mastery. And I know just as we've been in each other's space, Indrani, I become much more fluent in the language of manifestation, the ability to manifest in my life. And you have become like a way bigger, better energy master. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's like the rubbing off of each other, of our gifts, of our talents, of those activations. Um, So like what I want you guys to hear is, you can do that too. You can still have stress and emotional turmoil, either in personal relationships or in your health or even in your business. You could have funky, weird things going on in your business or finances and still have the ability to zone in, focus and be really present and give in a way that is breathtaking. Like Indrani said, that is, that is, it's like, it's a superhuman ability, right? We're superhumans and we have the capacity to, move into that space and part and, of the purpose. And, 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 and I'm going Go to cut her off again. And that's why everyone listening on here should really contact Nancy to at least get this session with her. Because then when you know what your superpower is, you can harness it. You can use it. You can leverage it. Not like, you know, if Clark Kent, that's the same, right? Superman. Yes. Yes. If he didn't know that he was Superman, if he never took off his suit, or, or his, yeah, the suit that he was wearing, I mean, he'd have to, to shower. But if he never knew that, he couldn't shine in there and he couldn't do what he was meant to do and be able to support the world in his unique way. But he had to know that superpower. And for 
for me, it was like, you know, my, my term when I started my business was manifesting maven and all these things. So it's like, that's what I called myself. And I, and I thought that I could do that, but the confirmation of saying, oh my goodness, this is my soul gift. And this is what I meant to do allows me to own it even more. Right. So if you don't know what that is, if you're worried, like, if you're wondering, like, what is that thing, which has been my like question my entire life, what is that thing? I'm here to do something. What is that? What is that? What is that? This was such powerful confirmation. And it was just so amazing. You'd be like, oh, my gosh, I'm really doing it. Like, oh, shit, I can like breathe and just be like, OK, I just I just it's just being me. It doesn't have to be doing anything else or doing more or, you know, trying to figure this out. It's about being me. And so that gift is priceless. Absolutely. Ah, I love it so much. And I guess um, I had I had something that kind of floated away from me. Good. But I interrupted you. Oh, 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 yeah, that's right. So what I was going to say is sometimes and I've even seen people comment this, that chick that was kind of bullying you, she was kind of alluding to this, which was like, oh, you think you're so great. And you think you're so much better and blah, 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 blah. And my answer to that is like, yes, I don't think I'm great. I know I'm great. And I'm doing this for a reason because I want you to also know and own that you're great. It's yeah. not a better than less than, right? Ego or pride is comparison. And even if someone's like, oh, they're better than me, that's still ego. Any comparison is ego. And some people think, oh, I'm being humble. I'm like, no, you're being insecure. And that's fucking selfish. <laughs> so it's so like us standing in our light and standing on our pedestal is permission. And it's only to say you can too. I'm not saying I'm, I'm not better than anybody else. My gift is not better than Andrani's. Her gift is not better than they're both essential. They're necessary. They, they complement each other beautifully. And in the future, as more fun collaborations that we work up, come out onto the planet, it's, it's a fun thing. And, the thing is, is we need you, you guys. The planet needs you. Your family needs you. They deserve the best of you. They deserve the turned on, happy, vibrant, badass, confident version of you. And when you own that, you give everyone permission around you to do the same. If you want to have confident kids with great self-esteem, quit being so fucking insecure. <laughs> quit comparing. Quit playing the less than game. And so as we celebrate ourselves and we celebrate each other and, and we celebrate the gift and the experience, I want it for all of you to be an exciting testament. This is a testimonial of this experience that Andrani got to share with me of what's possible when you align with your gifts. There's nothing that lights me up more than these sessions. I get so giddy. I mean, I was like a little kid on there, wasn't I, Andrani? I was just like, ah. Because it's, it's me finally owning my spiritual gifts, my intuition, what I've always wanted to do and stop hiding it. For a long time, I hid behind, you know, all everything I know about psychology and marketing and systems and structures and intelligence, because I was afraid to be super vulnerable and share my heart completely. I was guarding it. And I just want that for all of you. I want you all to feel that feeling of of bliss, of alignment, of flow in knowing that you can just be yourself. Just be yourself. Express who you truly are, what you really think. Stop being in your head of like, you know, walking on eggshells. What should I say? How should I be? What should I do to get approval or to be liked? And just be yourself. Yeah. Well, and, and it's so much easier said than done. It really is. Because, <laughs> hey, what does that even mean? And for me for a long time, it was like, I don't even know who I am because I've changed for everyone else. I've changed for the world. I've changed to fit in. Um, but I, I love all of that because we're all here for a purpose and some of them are going to be huge and some of them are going to be um, just being ourselves and, and that's enough. So having that confirmation and being able to do that and not caring what people think is such, it's, it's a lot easier said than done. But once you know what your gifts are, you're able to own that more and you're able to be in that space and you're able to claim it and say, yeah, this is what I do. This is who I am. And if you don't like it, that's totally fine. If it's triggering you, you're welcome, <laughs> you know, and, and they can do whatever they want with that. But 
the more that we are ourselves, we're allowing other people to, to do the same. So the more that we step into our power and step into our gifts and own it, we're living proof that other people can do it too. And we're all queens. We're all kings. So the more that we're able to, to show that and step into that, we're able to inspire others to do the same. So it's a beautiful process when we're open to it. Absolutely. Thank you. All right, you guys. Well, if anyone has any questions, go ahead and throw those up real quick. We're getting ready to wrap this up. We've got a really cool comment from Gita. She says, I totally agree. Everyone needs a soul print session. It was groundbreaking for me. I own my gift, shared myself with the world and signed five, signed five figure soul aligned clients in the process. Fucking amazing. You rock. Wow. Thank you, Gita. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Well, that said, thank you all for being here. I love you so much. Thank you, Indrani. I adore also, you. Also, okay. I, wanted to, I wanted to say that it was great because the call was, was, was recorded. So I didn't have to like take a ton of notes and there was like a summary of it. So I was like, oh my gosh, it was just so amazing that I didn't have to, I could be fully present and just have it done for me. So the whole process was really effortless and y'all know that's my style. So it worked out <laughs> so, so well. And yeah, you guys, Nancy is amazing how she shows up, what she does, her gifts and having her step into and own her gifts is changing the world. So y'all better get on this before the price goes. I'm sure it's going to happen soon. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Thanks, babe.